Hi. To this week's lab, I'm going to teach about, or I'm going to introduce 3D. Uh, yeah, 3D. So when you want to start a drawing in 3D, then you go here under templates. There is where we have an arrow that is pointing downwards. You click on it. Uh, then you you select the option of SCAD 3D dot W T. That is the one for 3D. Then it will automatically take you to a 3D drawing. But in case you are in 3D and you want to go back to 2D without going back there, then you can go down here where we have workspace switching, then you can be able to switch to 3D basics if you want to use them, that is still under 3D. Uh, and also when you want to go back to 2D, then you change to drafting and annotation, it will take you to 2D. That's basically how you can be able to uh, launch uh, 3D in your uh, working space to be 3D. So I want to teach something we call uh, extruding command. So I change to uh, 3D basics. So I'm going to teach about extrude command, how to use the extrude command, which will act as this week's lab. So on this week's lab, I'm going not, I'm not going to attend. Instead, I'm going to give an assignment. And note that in 3D, we have we have uh, three axes that they said x and y. So I draw a basic a basic uh, rectangle. And then I extrude it. Then you'll be able to know how. The extrude command works. Yeah, I've basically drawn a rectangle. I want to extrude it. You go here, click on that extrude command. Then select what you want to extrude, of which I want to extrude these four lines that I'm making this rectangle, then I enter. Then after that, you can either decide to extrude it upwards or downwards. So if I, I want to extrude it up downwards, then there you go. I extrude it, it downwards. If you want, you can extrude it upwards. Just like any other thing, if I want to group this, I can group it, then it works as one object. Just like in 2D, you can be able to move it, rotate it, uh, copy it, paste it, erase it, mirror it. So I want to move this particular object. So I click on move, select this object, enter, specify your this point I say there, then I move it there. That is all about moving in 3D. Then I can be able to copy it, click on copy, select the object and the midpoint of course, or the base point, that is the base point. Then I copy it there, I make another one down there. That's all about copying. I, I wish, if I wish I can mirror it, then you select on mirroring, click on it, enter, then you specify your first point and my second point, and of course my third point since this is 3D. I don't want to erase it, so I say no. Uh, as you can see, it has already mirrored itself here to here. Simply because in 3D, the difference now comes in that you have to uh, specify the three points that you want your object or drawing to be mirrored. Basically, this week's lab, uh, what I've thought is on how to extrude, uh, to do moving in a 3D drawing, to do copying, and to do mirroring. 
So under this assignment, you are going to um, draw a rectangle measuring 10 millimeters by five millimeters. Then from that rectangle, you extrude it uh, to a height of five millimeters. You extrude it to a height of five millimeters. Then after extruding for uh, to a height of five millimeters, then you copy it. Then after copying it, you may write. You can also apply whatever I've taught you. That is including, uh, if you want, you can use hatch patterns. But then ensure the work is done before the end of this week. If your lab is on Tuesday, then do it on Tuesday lab. If your work is on Thursday, do it on Thursday. After doing that, you take a picture or a, yeah, a picture and then you forward to me. I really don't want excuses, kindly guys. Let's be as mature people and send your work on time. Thank you so much. That is all about this week's assignment.